a very good morning to one and all myself dr ishab gupta and in today's lecture we will be practicing a numerical on estimation of cash flows in ms excel so here we begin m limited is evaluating a capital budgeting project cash outlay is given 120 lakh working capital requirement is 30 lakh other details sales volume 1 lakh units selling price rupees 150 per unit variable cost per unit is rupees 80 fixed operating and maintenance cost excluding depreciation is rupees 15 lakh overhead allocation is 10% of sales depreciation is as per diminishing balance method net post tax salvage value at the end of eighth year is rupees 2 lakh tax rate is 40% life of a project is 8 years and the cut off rate is 12% while the project is charged an overhead allocation it is not likely to have any effect on the total overhead expenses as such at the end of eighth year working capital is expected to be liquidated at par bearing an estimated loss of rupees 5 lakh on account of back debt which will be a tax deductible expense based upon this information you need to indicate the financial viability of a project using npv technique so here we begin this is a format for the evaluation of our capital budgeting project involving initial cash flows subsequent cash flows and the terminal cash flows so let's begin so in this case your cash outlay is rupees 120 lakhs and the working capital is 30 lakh now the next component is sales revenue so the question clearly specify that the selling price is rupees 150 per unit and there are 1 lakh units as such since we have specified that information in lakh so our sales revenue will be 150 in year 1 Again, one fifty in year two, and again one fifty in all the subsequent years. That is from year one to year eight. So let's drag it from year one till year eight. The next component is variable cost. The question clearly states that the variable cost per unit is rupees eighty, and there are one lakh such units, so it will be eighty lakh for year one. Again, eighty lakh for year two. and the same continues till year 10 as and the same continues till year 8 as well the next component is fixed operating overheads now in this numerical the fixed operating overheads are 15 lakh in all the years starting from year 1 till year 8 i again repeat since the information is being given in lakh so i can simply write 15 in year 1 again 15 in year 2 and drag it till year 8 the next component is the calculation of depreciation now the question says that the depreciation is as per diminishing balance so first thing foremost i will calculate the depreciation amount now in this case cost is 120 salvage value is 2 and the life is 8 years let's prepare a depreciation schedule here depreciation for the purpose of calculating the depreciation from year 1 till year 8 i need to type equals to db the moment i type equals to db and double click on it it is asking for cost so i click on it representing my m7 comma salvage value which is 2 lakh in my case represented by m8 again comma life is 8 years which is represented by o7 comma since i am calculating this diminishing balance period is l11 bracket close and enter it will be 48.12 in this case my cost salvage value and the life will remain same for all the years that is for year 1 for year 2 and till year 8 so i can simply put a dollar sign that is shift plus 4 before and after m7 i need to follow the same practice for m8 as well representing my salvage value 
by putting a dollar sign before and after M and same goes for the life as well represented by O7 and press enter. Now what I will do, I will simply drag it till year 8. So in this way, my depreciation as per diminishing balance method is 48.12, 28.82 lakhs, 17.27 lakhs, 13.34, 6.19, 3.71, 2.22 and 1.33 lakh. Let me simply incorporate this information in this format. So equals to select this cell M11. Again, equals to 28.82. So in this way, I have noted down my depreciation as per diminishing balance method by incorporating the depreciation Excel function that is BB. Now the next step is the calculation of profit before tax. So I need to write equals to. We all know that for the calculation of profit before tax, it will be sales minus variable cost minus fixed operating overheads minus depreciation this will give you 6.88 lakh i need to simply drag it till year 8 as well so the amount will be 6.88 lakh for year 1 26.18 lakh for year 2 37.73 lakhs for year 3 44.66 lakh for year 4 48.81 lakhs for year 5 51.21 lakh for year 6 52.78 lakh for year 7 and 53.67 lakh for year 8. The next component is the back deck loss. The question says that the back deck loss is 5 lakh rupees. So the net profit before tax will be profit before tax minus back deck loss. So I can notice that the profit before tax or the net profit before tax is changing only in the last year that is 48.67 lakh. Now I need to calculate my tax rate which is at the rate of 40% equals to 0 0.4 multiplied by net profit before tax represented by C11. It comes out to be 2.75. Simply drag it from year 1 till year 8. The next component is calculation of profit after tax that is profit before tax represented by C11 minus tax represented by C12. Press enter. It comes out to be 4.13. Now I need to add back the depreciation. So again equals to C8. Let's drag it. Now the next component is the addition of back debt which is equals to J10. In this case, salvage value is 2 lakh. Now I need to add the working capital recovered, which is 25 lakh. Then I need to calculate the total, which is equals to profit after tax plus depreciation plus back debt plus salvage value plus working capital recovered. Let's simply drag it till year 8. So it comes out to be 52.25 lakh for year 1, 44.53 lakh for year 2, 39.91 lakh for year 3, 37.14 for year 4, 35.48 lakh for year 5, 34.48 lakh for year 6, 33.89 lakh for year 7 and 62.53 lakh for year 8. The next is the incorporation of discounting factor. So my discount rate or the cost of capital, my cost of capital is 12% in this case. So I need to type equals to 1 divided by 1 plus cost of capital represented by M20 bracket close shift plus 6 
दैट इज रेस टू पार वन रिप्रेजेंटेड मै सी टू एंड प्रेस एंटर इट कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट एट नाइन थ्री नाउ माई कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल रिमेन सेम इन ऑल द सब्सिक्वेंट इयर सो लेट मी पुट अ डॉलर साइन बिफोर एंड आफ्टर एम एंड नाउ लेट सिंपली ड्रैग इट टिल इयर ए सो इन दिस वे आई हैव नोटेड डाउन माई पी बी एफ ऑफ ट्वेल्व परसेंट अगेंस्ट वन ईयर अगेंस्ट सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर अगेंस्ट एट ईयर विच कम्स आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट फोर जीरो फोर नाउ लेट्स कैलकुलेट पी वी सी आई विच इज इक्वल टू नॉन डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लोस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द डिस्काउंट रेट इट कम्स आउट टू बी फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव फॉर ईयर वन थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव जीरो फॉर ईयर टू ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट फोर जीरो फॉर ईयर थ्री एंड सो एंड सो फोर द टोटल पी वी सी आई विल बी इक्वल टू C20 plus D20 plus E20 plus F20 plus G20 plus H20 plus I20 and plus J20. So in this way, I have calculated the total present value of cash inflow. Let me total it equals to sum in bracket close. So it comes out to be two one two point three four lakh. The total PVCO will be equal to sum bracket open and select this. It comes out to be one fifty lakh. So my NPV comes out to be equal to present value of cash inflows minus present value of cash outflow. The value comes out to be sixty-two point three four lakhs. Now I need to identify that whether I will accept this project or reject it. Now I need to apply an if function equals to if. Double click on it. We all know that if NPV is greater than zero, then I will accept the project. Otherwise, reject it. Now in this case, I will write equals equals to if. Bracket open. C twenty three represented by NPV value greater than zero. If this logical test holds true, then I will accept this project. Otherwise, I will reject it. Bracket close and press enter. So it comes out to be accept. So I will accept this project because my NPV is greater than zero. That's all from my side. We'll meet you in my next session. Has an have a nice day.